Hey there, in this video I want to explain the 4% rule. This is also known as the safe withdrawal rate, or basically the rate at which you can spend your money without running out of money, and this determines when and how much money you need to retire. This is another video in my personal finance series. An easy way to calculate what this means for you and how much money you'll need to retire is by flipping around the 4% rule and multiplying your yearly expenses by 25. For example, if you and your family spend $40,000 per year, you'll need to have $1 million invested to last a lifetime. But there must be some limit to how long you can withdraw 4% and still have money left over, right? The study that explains the 4% rule is called the Trinity Study, and it looked at how much money you'd need to retire for people retiring every year between 1926 and 2009. The study found that if you invest 50% of your money in stocks and 50% of your money in bonds, withdrawing 4% of your total net worth will be fine for 25 years 100% of the time. It will never fail. Taking out 4% for 30 years will work for 96% of the time. Only if you retired in a very unlucky year and never made any money after retirement, including pensions or social security, the 4% rule didn't work. So to make sure we're all clear, the 4% rule isn't 100% foolproof, but those odds are pretty darn good. And even while I hope to retire from regular work longer than 30 years, I know I'll continue to make money doing things I love, which will make sure that the 4% rule does succeed for me. If the 96% success rate isn't good enough for you, use the 3% rule and only withdraw 3% of your net worth. The Trinity study shows that the 3% rule works 100% of the time, even after 30 years. But since the 4% rule is more popular and more realistic, let's dive a little bit deeper. As many of you are probably asking, why is 4% the safe number and not 10% or 2%? Very simply, investing money will pay you dividends and increase in value at an average rate of 7% per year. On average, inflation is about 3%, basically decreasing the actual value of the money you have. So you combine those two factors and you're at 4%. Your net worth will increase by 4% each year. And if you spend that 4% without going over, you'll end the year with the same amount that you started with. Okay, okay, I know a lot of you are going to say, this is crazy, what about the recession, you can't predict stocks, and lots of other things, but let's look at those numbers a little bit deeper. Since 1900, over 100 years ago, the average rate of return per year for investments has been 7%, assuming that you reinvest the dividends that you earn. A dividend is money that you make from investing in a company. So when the company pays you your dividend, you invest it rather than taking it out and spending it. So that's on average 7% per year for over 100 years. As for inflation, since 1913, again over 100 years ago, the average yearly inflation has been 3.22%. Even through the Great Depression, world wars, crazy years of inflation, more wars, and the Great Recession, the average return rate has been 7% and inflation has been just over 3%. So what does this tell us? It tells us that investing is more about being patient and investing early rather than trying to time the market. Now, this doesn't mean that it can't change. Investing is a risk, and that's why you do it, to make money from it. But World War III could happen, another even greater depression could happen, and we have to be prepared for something like that. Because if you retired with $1 million invested in 2007, assuming you'd be able to spend 4% of your net worth per year for the rest of your life, you were in for a surprise, which might have meant going back to work for a few years to wait out the recession. And hopefully if you did that, and you left your investments in the market, you would be in good shape. So the key takeaway is that throughout the history of the modern world, you'll be fine to retire using the 4% rule. If you're still a little hesitant, use the 3% rule and multiply your yearly expenses by 33 and a third to get the amount of money you'll need to retire on. 
But now's the time to calculate your expenses, include some emergency padding, and start investing to get to that goal of 25 times your expenses. Because once you get to that number, you are free to retire. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Is this crazy or am I actually onto something? Again, thank you to Mr. Money Mustache and the Mad Scientist for the inspiration for this post. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey YouTube, you like that video? Well, please subscribe to the channel for more. Check out our website for articles, webinars, books, and more. And of course, check out our online course library, ranging on topics from video making, motion graphics, photography, starting a business, freelancing, to beer brewing, resume writing, adopting a cat, and much more.